cats. They sure are good at keeping secrets at times. Like a crying baby, you can never be quite sure exactly what's going on inside his head. Or can you? Scientists in Japan recently challenged our assumptions about what we can understand from cat sounds and behavior. They found that domesticated house cats have a deep understanding of human voice tones, facial expressions, even the words we speak. So, is it any surprise that researchers also found that the sounds and gestures cats make themselves are also a form of language? Did you know that hidden in between all the seemingly similar meowing, Cats actually make 20 different sounds and slight but very noticeable changes of strength, volume, and pitch. Unsurprisingly, these uh, different sounds are used to communicate different things in the same way human beings do so verbally. Here's the most fascinating thing that I learned during our dozens of research trials involving felines and their owners. Though cats make meows and purrs towards us, you'll almost never see verbal communication between cats and less with very young offspring. Instead, they prefer to be pin drop quiet when dealing with other felines. For example, a cat will pull its head down and back to show other cats when he's not interested. For you, he'll sound an annoyed meow instead. And that's meow spelled M-E-A-W. Meow, not M-E-O-W. Meow, there's a difference. Why is that? Cats make high pitched sounds knowing that humans are used to this mode of communication, and different sounds indicate different emotions, events, and even complex details. Here comes the bad news. Urgent messages are often negative messages. It was quite common in our studies to find cats meowing or purring out of a sense of loneliness, pain, or another form of negative urgency factor. This goes to show why listening to your cat's body language, and especially his verbal outbursts, is so important. If only there was a way to make sense of it all. Well, I'm glad to tell you that there is. We directed every ounce of effort into translating what it is that cats were trying to tell us all along. All other trials were put on hold. Through this research, we uncovered quite a few mistakes that cat owners were consistently making. For example, anytime you begin a scolding behavior, you strike a sense of fear into your cat, which lingers much longer than it would for a spouse or even a small child. The reason, again, has to do with their predatory fight or flight instinct, which is even stronger in felines than in humans. So, if you're currently doing that, I suggest that you end the practice of scolding. Instead, try to use correction methods that shape your cat's behavior without agitating the fear response. Sometimes cats shy away from their owners and need to be left alone. They can make this solitary desire very obvious, almost like a teenager, by the way they avoid you. But when a cat brushes up against you and wants to cuddle, is it because of a feeling of love or because he's trying to cozy up to you in order to get food or some other treat? I admit, as a researcher, one of my greatest surprises was finding out just how manipulative cats could be. In fact, your kitten friend may not want you to learn about the guide on this page because it will give you secret insight into his body language that shows off what he's really thinking inside. The same applies with verbals. There's a reason why the happy meow and frustrated meow are so close in tone. Cats can be the tricksters of the animal world. The Cat Language Bible is our research-backed journey into understanding cat language both verbal and non-verbal. It's an owner's manual for communicating to your four-legged family member.